Hello everybody and welcome back to the Project 944 YouTube channel. It's been a while and I do apologize. There's just not been a lot going on for me to do content wise. There have been a few things. It's just at the point I didn't have the time or didn't want to take the time to do a video on it. Um, so and I'll, I'll kind of catch you up on all that here in a moment um, before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video. First thing I want to say is the meat and potatoes of this video, not car related. This entire series I'm getting ready to do technically not car related at all. I do hope you stick around. I do hope you check it out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, a lot of some, something that anybody and everybody could do as long as they got a little bit of space in their house. Um, so I hope you hang out for that. But uh, let's go ahead and get into kind of a channel update, what's going on with everything on the, uh, the channel here. Number one, car content's not going away. Uh, I just haven't had either the time to do it or haven't had anything to do. There have been some major changes. Um, pretty much everything has changed since my last video. I think in my last video, I had the uh, F-150 and the Porsche was still hanging around in the background. Number one, I've sold the Porsche. So my name, Project 944, doesn't really mean a whole lot anymore. That car is gone. Um, I would love to pick up another one someday. We'll see what happens. I probably will leave it stock. I probably won't plan on LS swapping it. It's just the amount of time and money it was going to cost me. When I first started the project, I, ha I uh, had a, was a little bit better spot. Nowadays, it's just it's going to be too much money. It's going to take too much time. And I, I figured I would just sell the car on to somebody who could uh, enjoy get an engine in it and enjoy it. So the car is gone. Um, the F-150, also gone. Uh, I sold it to buy a different truck. I wanted something a little bit bigger, something uh, to haul my camper I've got now a little bit better. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the the truck I've got, and that is a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500. Uh, it's a second gen Cummins. Um, I really like the truck. It pulled my camper fantastically. I uh, drove it all the way down to Tennessee for a vacation um, last fall. Thing did great. Um, so there have been a couple little things with that truck that have happened. I when it happened, I didn't have time to do a video on how to fix it because I was uh, getting ready to go camping. I needed the truck fixed so I could pull the camper. Um, so that's what's going on there. I will hopefully be doing some videos with that truck, but we'll see when that happens. Um, now let's go ahead and get into what's going on with this new series, what this new series is, um, and go from there. So this new series, I want to build my own model train layout. Since I was a kid, I enjoyed model trains. I had a, the big G scale stuff. Uh, had a little, like just basically a track on a carpet. That's all it was. Um, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Trains were cool. Trains have always been cool to me. And actually, when I was down in Tennessee on vacation, that's kind of what uh, refired everything. I went uh, down to, uh, there's a, a railroad museum in Chattanooga. It was really cool. If you're ever down there, I highly recommend checking it out. They do a, a train ride. You can ride the train down to their restoration shop, get a tour, and ride back. It was like 25 bucks a ticket. It was worth it. It was really cool. Uh, but it kind of reignited that fire to kind of do something with trains again. I thought, you know, I, I've redone, my, redone how I've got my office set up. I've got some space. Why not build a model, ra model railroad layout? Um, so with that being said, I'm planning on putting it on this back wall right here. I've got a, a good size wall here. I do have a secondary wall that's pretty open over here as well. That's off camera. Can't see. But we'll see what things go. I have been doing some design uh, using a program called AnyRail to get my layout set up. And I've gone through several designs, including some really big layouts um, for the space I have. And I decided to scale it back down make it a little bit more simple, especially after I got some ideas from some people on some pages that I've talked to. Uh, I did throw some of my designs. I can only go and show you my last design that I did before my current design. And that is this. I planned on having a pretty good size layout. Um, as you can see here, the uh, lower table was going to be a three, by, three foot by five foot. Upper table is going to be a four foot by eight foot table. After talking to some people, they said, you know, with N-Scale, you're really wasting a lot of space here, especially because at this point in any rail, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, just threw some track on there, found a couple buildings, but I was like, I didn't know how to do any of the, the terrain, any of the changing, like what, getting an idea of what stuff is supposed to look like. Um, so I've 
after I kind of built this layout, I decided and got some feedback because the biggest piece of feedback that I got that really kind of said made me stop and think, oh yeah, I need to make some changes here. And that is back in the very top corner there. If I had a derailment in that very top left corner, I was never going to be able to reach it to fix it because that was going to be on the back wall, back in the corner. I wasn't going to be able to, to reach it to fix anything back in that corner. But the other thing too is that just takes up a lot of space. So I decided to, you know what, I need to scale this back. I need to bring this down to one table and kind of go from there. So I can always, you know, add a secondary table later. It'll probably be just a completely separate layout. We'll see where we go when we get the first table built. I'm sure that uh, once I build the first one, the second one will go, if I build the second one, it would go better, go faster, everything like that. So let me go ahead and show uh, what I've currently got. All right, now that I've shrunk myself down here in this corner, let me show you uh, my idea of what I've got going on um, in what I wanna do. So let me throw that, there we go. Here is my current design idea. Um, this is still a four foot by eight foot table. I still plan on putting it on this back wall right here. Um, but it is a single table. That way I've got a much better chance of, you know, reaching stuff if I have issues back up in uh, like this corner over here. Um, so let me kind of go through, let me give a quick disclaimer as to why I've done what I've done here. I am from central Indiana. As a lot of, I think a lot of you can figure out from, you know, my channel, what I've got going on. I grew up in a very kind of a more ag community, a good sized town, but a more ag community. And that's really what I grew up with, what I really enjoyed. And that's what I wanted to kind of build here was build a very agriculture community, small town USA feel. Um, so there's not a lot going on, but there's still a good amount going to be very ag related. As you can see, I've got, I've got a bunch of farm fields. I actually, my main kind of meat and potatoes of this play is going to be ag related. Um, the big pieces are, like, I've got a grain elevator here. Uh, over here in this corner, or in this section, is going to be a uh, fertilizer facility. Uh, I've seen a lot where they have a fertilizer facility and a grain facility together. I would have a scale house, all this stuff. I just didn't have models of those buildings that I could stick in here to uh, pop on. Um, as you can see, there's a road that leads down to it. This road then leads to our kind of road system, including a main street area for a small little town. Um, so what I've got going on here, I've got like a, a drive-in, eatery, a gas station, municipal building, fire station, train station, just a bunch of little stuff, kind of small town USA feel, um, main street right through here. Down here I've got, um, down here where you can't quite see, so here we are. Down here I've got a uh, kind of a feed, uh, feed mill, an old farmhouse with an old barn. I plan on doing some fencing here that you can stick some stick some animals of some kind. Um, here I've got just a little forest, just something to kind of get something in this area. Um, I've got a pond with a, a stream or maybe a river, something like that. It comes out of it and would lead off of the table. Um, this this whole section will be dug down a little bit. I still need to figure out how I can do how I can model that in the terrain. Um, so it goes under this bridge, obviously. Um, over here, you can see this highlight section. I did get this side built up. Um, so this would actually build up to a, a inch tall back here on this corner um, with a 3% grade maximum as it uh, comes up and comes, or comes up and comes back down. Um, these spurs would be just set up for parking rolling stock. Um, like this top one is kind of designed to uh, Designed to like unload into the fertilizer facility, everything like that. Um, the farm fields, my my idea at the moment, I got to see how hard it's going to be to get this done the way I want to do it. I would love to make this kind of a, a harvest scene. So you know maybe have a couple of these fields already harvested, have one in the process of being harvested. Trucks that are picking up either the corn, whatever it is, they're just driving it right down to the elevator. Again, I'm going to have to kind of see how hard that is to make it look good in such a small scale i mean because we're, we're talking in scale we're talking something teeny tiny um obviously this these are long lengths of track but you know out here especially in indiana there's just a long way where trains go where it's just straight and it's nothing and i want to kind of follow that idea i know it can be maybe quote unquote a little bit more boring but i think it's going to be a really cool design when i get everything done
So with that being said, here's the design. I'm hoping to get started on it. I actually have all of the track at this point either in my possession or on the way. Um, so hopefully in the next video you'll be seeing here somewhat soon we'll be starting construction on the table and uh, that way we can get the table kind of built, get the layout set up where we want, we can start drawing out where we want to have our different types of terrain. So I hope you guys stick around and uh, check out check that out when it when it gets uh, gets up. Thanks.